Hi everyone, it's Paul here from Ballistic Blood Bullets, back with a Euro action hard hitting return to the start of the 80s uh, with a plethora of no nonsense slam bang, badass, woo ha, from one of the genre's finest proponents, Mr. Enzo G. Castellari. And he is back making movies, and he's back with a bang with Caribbean Bastards. A return to form and a film that is only literally been released in the last few months to DVD and one that I've been waiting for for quite some time having known about for about a year or so uh, and learning about his return to the genre of filmmaking and it is with a happy heart and a big smile on my face that uh, I can announce Mr Enzo G Castellari back to the uh, action fan film loving medium of making movies and uh, really really pleased to have this one without question. Now if it sounds a little familiar Caribbean Bastards it is of course born out of the success of Quentin Tarantino and uh, the film that uh, of course we're talking about is Inglorious Bastards, which itself is a reworking of Enzo G. Castellari's own original film of the same name. And this is the said movie. This is his take, uh, the original take, of Inglorious Bastards and uh, wonderful, wonderful cover art on the Japanese VHS. And uh, all the action shown on the reverse of the VHS as well and uh, it is a very very cool edition and uh, Enzo directed his version of Inglorious Bastards back in 1978 and of course it starred Euro greats Bo Svensson, Peter Hooten and Fred Williamson and uh, quite amusingly the film also was released to VHS in America uh, way back when under the title of G.I. Bro and there's Fred Williamson in his cigar smoking glory and uh, it's got a, a blurb there which I'm sure you can read which is uh, completely politically incorrect by today's standards but uh, still I'm sure you'll find is amusing and uh, it would have been extremely funny at the time but uh, as I say in these politically correct times perhaps not quite so but it is a very very well done cover art there as well and as I say that is the American VHS release of the film going back quite some time but um, as I say, this is uh, Inglorious Bastards and uh, the original from Enzo G. Castellari. And uh, the film centered around Second World War American soldiers escaping from a military prison and taking it to the Germans. And it is later revealed that they are a specially formed team actually put together on a secret mission to steal a German V2 warhead. Now Tarantino has always been a fan of the Eurofilms of this time. A particular big admirer of Enzo G. Castellari. So it's no surprise that Tarantino would meet one of his heroes in Castellari. And the rest of course is movie history. Now with Caribbean Bastards, Castellari has of course with some deserved irony jumped back into the movie making foray on the wave of interest generated by Tarantino's uh, interpretation of Inglorious Bastards and it is his first full movie production from Enzo since directing Franco Nero way back in 1995. He's made TV films and um, bits and pieces uh, production wise, but uh, this is uh, with Caribbean Bastards. This is the return to the big screen for him. 
and uh, although shot on video it is still very much extremely welcome but um, as I say he, his last film was back in 1995 with Franco Nero uh, which was uh, the Western Jonathan of the Bears which itself is a loose follow-up to his earlier superb spaghetti western called Kioma that was way back in 1976 but that also starred Franco Nero great great actor and uh, I'm sure you'll remember him from uh, way back in the the 60s with uh, crime films and spy films but particularly well known of course for spaghetti westerns now Enzo G Castellari is one of my most favorite action movie making directors probably no surprise being a big fan of the the 80s action movies and amongst his excellent films a title such as the Bronx Warriors its sequel Escape from the Bronx and uh, here we have the Japanese editions of Bronx Warriors and Escape from the Bronx very nice indeed again editions from Japan fabulous fabulous editions always do very nice cover artwork other films from Enzo uh, from this sort of period are The New Barbarians, Striker, Tuareg, Desert Warrior, The Last Shark, which we have here uh, under the title of Jaws Returns, but it is in fact The Last Shark. And uh, he also was very, very prolific with the 70s crime films and made some cracking films of that genre himself including The Big Racket, The Heroin Busters with Fabio Testi and David Hemmings and these are just to name a handful of the wonderful wonderful films that he, he made being a very prolific action movie maker and Enzo G. Castellari is just one of the greats, a true movie making machine and such a decent, decent guy as well. And some fantastical features that he made in the proper old school manner of hands on, no CGI nonsense, just original filmmaking genius and brilliance so thank you mr enzo g castellari thank you so very much really truly a great proponent of movie making and it's a delight to have him back uh, even with a shot on video action feature which throws together a tried and tested formula of good at heart, bad guys who are more like Robin Hood than harmful hoods who of course fall in amongst a nastier element of drug dealers and then have to fight for their very own lives. It's a modern day tale of pirates and cutthroats that deserves a yo-ho-ho -ho and a bottle of rum raised in honour of the great Enzo G. Castellari. And what a personal pleasure it is to be able to kick back once again with one of my true icons of action cinema. Now uh, this video particularly goes out to all lovers of 80s Euro Italian action filmmaking and particularly uh, I'd like to dedicate this to three of my true fellow fans of the Euro action movies and uh, that is Mr. David Z, Jack J, Extro the Mutilator, the magnificent Extro the Mutilator and uh, in fact there are four that are deserving of this who will appreciate this and the fourth person certainly uh, not last in any means at all uh, all four of these people will appreciate the return of Mr Enzo G Castellari 
Uh, the fourth person is the person who encouraged me to uh, come to YouTube and start making movies and that is someone who will be known to most of you and that's Simon of course at Explosive Action so a big hi to you guys and uh, I hope that you all share my enthusiasm for this return to filmmaking from one of the great Italian Euro proponents as I say Mr Enzo G Castellari now I'm sure that uh, having watch this or watching this at the moment Simon explosive action he's likely just had an action aneurysm at just how soon he can lay his hands on a copy of this as well now uh, as you can probably see looking at the front cover of Caribbean Bastards with these characters here there is definitely an influence of Stanley Kubrick I think you'll agree and uh, those of you who can remember back to the early 70s and Kubrick's work on A Clockwork Orange and uh, this is a gang wearing designer look of the Droogs and uh, they do don masks in the film and they do wear these white Outfits so very much influenced by Stanley Kubrick's iconic A Clockwork Orange. Just have a look at some of the action scenes on the reverse of this Italian released PAL DVD, and it is English language friendly. Uh, it is in Italian, but there is an English dub as well, and it does come in. Dolby Digital 5.1, you'll be pleased to know, and it is formatted in 16.9 for uh, anamorphic friendly televisions, and it's a Region 2 PAL um, DVD. And there's some extras as well, seems to be backstage with uh, the filmmakers, and there's an interview with Enzo G. Castellari, and also a trailer. So, all in all, a very, very good release and very nice to have indeed. Now, again, what is quite amusing here is that uh, we've got the title of Caribbean Bastards, but uh, quite amusingly, the translation is uh, Bastardi and Caribi. That uh, just tickles me, that is quite amusing, but uh, all in the, the, the very best way of course and uh, it is a very simple design on the cover but uh, a real statement I think of uh, a return to the action genre as well but uh, you do just have to love that Bastardi and Caribi <laughs> very very funny now um, as I say for fans of Euro Italian action movies. This is a 2010 return to the big screen for Mr. Enzo G. Castellari, and I really can't emphasize that enough. It is absolutely fantastic that uh, a gentleman that uh, is now in his early 70s, still as fit as ever, still as keen as ever, and still very much a lover of film and filmmaking and uh, may he continue to do so and be so uh, it is a benefit to all of us who love these types of films so thank you very very much indeed everyone for watching I uh, really appreciate it at all as always and uh, hopefully that uh, with this return we can all sit back and enjoy once again the action greatness of Mr. Enzo G. Castellari. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. See you all soon. Bye for now.